With the divorce rate as high as it is, it makes sense that it takes the right person, right time, and right reasons to make a fulfilling and strong relationship. In our studio are the love listeners, and we are discussing tips for choosing the right partner for you. Ladies, thank you so much for joining thank you. me. Thank and you. so I've come up with a list of tips um, that will help others find the right person for them. So um, after I go through them, I just want you to help me elaborate on them, okay? Sure. So the first one is, give people chances that you normally wouldn't. What do you think, who's first? Agreed, I think you absolutely should give people chances that you normally wouldn't. Right. right. Um, it sets you up for success, and sometimes you need a new challenge. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, like, go ahead. It's, sorry, especially if you're dating the same person over and over again, and it's not working with that type of person. Exactly. Right. Try dating somebody new. Different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? Maybe it's not your type. Right. Yeah, so date maybe. outside your comfort zone. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Within reason. Yeah. Still have your standards. Yeah. Right. You know, if you were looking for a professional um, with a certain level of education, and maybe this guy went to high school and he works at Harvey's, I mean, mm -hmm. that's not your guy. Right. But you could still find a construction worker that was doing very well for themselves that could still knock your socks off. That's right. Still and be smart, still be funny. And I have friends that are married to factory guys that yeah. treat them like Amazing. princesses. Exactly. exactly. And they are so in love with them. So at the end of the day, I don't think those things really matter, but it does mm -hmm. to some people. Do you share the same values? Why is this so important? Yeah, you have to be on the same page as someone so you understand each other. So because once you start thinking different things about stuff, that's when the relationship starts getting um, tricky. tricky. Your yeah. futures have to be going in the same direction for mm -hmm. it to work out with someone, and if you're gonna be pulling apart, then what's, what's the point of moving forward? And these are conversations that you should have early on, but not right. too early. Exactly. You don't exactly. want to freak them, them out the first yeah. conversation. Yeah. We can start exactly. freaking them out. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Like, start talking about, like, you do want babies, like in the yeah. first week that no. you're dating. Cause exactly. Uh, someone's exactly. gonna be going, whoop. Exactly, I think yeah. probably by the, fourth or fifth date, it's a good time to start having those right. more in-depth conversations. Because you're still, you're not all the way in, so you can still back easily out. back out, mm -hmm. or you can just go full throttle. Look for qualities that are a good foundation for a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Honesty is a big part of it. Speaks mm -hmm. for itself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Communication, yeah. honesty, you know, having similar goals yes. in life. Yeah, that all of that sets you up for success, yeah. right? And a personal yeah. confidence as well. That person has to be happy with themselves in order to have a relationship with you. Yes, and I talk about that a lot in mm -hmm. this uh, this whole series about that. You have mm -hmm. to be happy with yourself before right. you can actually be happy with someone else. Exactly. Right. Yeah. The worst right. thing I hate to hear was people say, like, it has to be fifty fifty. No. It needs to be 100 and 100. Don't yeah, give me 50% of you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Come with your 100 and I'll come with my 100. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nothing's right? successful okay. unless you go all in. Okay. How about this one? Don't allow ma uh, magnetic chemistry fool you into thinking that you have found the one. Right. Have you guys all been there? Oh, yeah. gosh. Right? Yeah. I think so. It right. was so sad to realize that this person that you have so much so, fire and right. passion right. How and could that chemistry with, how you? could you not be the one? Yeah. But it is true, and that's why you do have to play it safe to fall in love so that you can really get to know that person before you judge whether or not he's yep. the one for you. And sometimes right. when you lust someone, you think, yeah. you, it, it, you think it's love, yeah. but it's yeah. not. All yeah. it is is lust. Right. Yeah. With all the people you know in relationships, do you think most of them are with the person they want to be with, settling, or with nobody because their expectations are so high? I think it's a 50-50 uh, with the, the settling and uh, being with people that they want. I mean, I have equal amount of friends that are with the perfect person, and I got, you know, buddies that you, you wish you could pull aside and tell them how you actually feel. What? It might what? cost you a friendship, though, if you do, right? So. Do you think some of them are settling? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Why do you think they settle? I think people get worried that their, their clock is ticking and society is always kind of ingrained in you if you don't have this achieved by this certain time in your life and these goals that you're not making it.